There's one more topic we need to cover in regards to products, and that's the topic of related products, upsells, and cross-sells. You've probably noticed this settings group in the products we've been creating. Before we start learning about what these are though, and how to use them, let's fill out our site a little bit more for this and create one more coffee product. So we're going to add a simple product. The attribute set will be coffee. The product name will be Sumatra Select. This is gonna be a higher priced sort of premium coffee. This will be $20.99. We'll say we have uh, 500 bags of this. And for that matter, we should probably change this to one pound Sumatra Select, just so that's clear. And I'm gonna change the skew a little bit as I normally do to get rid of the special characters and the spaces. This weighs one pound. This will go, of course, in the coffee category. Visibility is fine, all of this is fine. For caffeine, we're gonna keep this as regular. And we're not going to create a decaf version of this. We're going to imagine that this only comes in the regular form, not decaf. Of course, remember, if we wanted to make this regular and decaf, we would create it as a configurable product so that the customer could choose which version they want. But we're just creating a simple product, and it's just going to be regular. For content, I'm going to go back to blindtextgenerator.com, copy some text, and paste that in. And for the short description, I'll do the same thing. And as usual, cut out a big chunk of it. Let's skip configurations. We're not gonna add anything special here. For the images, we'll upload our image. Search engine optimization. I'm just going to put coffee and Sumatra for our meta keywords. I'm gonna keep the meta title the same. And one thing, that I'll note now is that you don't always have to specify a URL key. I have been doing that so far in the tutorial just to get you familiar with it, but if we leave it blank, it'll automatically generate one based on the product name. So I'll leave that blank just to kind of show that we can. For the meta description, let's shorten this up a bit. And we're gonna come back to related products, upsells and cross sells. But for now, we're done with this product. So let's save and close. All right, now we're going to talk about related products, upsells and cross sales. We're going to do so, however, in regards to the one pound coffee bean central house blend that we created earlier, the configurable product, make sure that this is the one that you've selected. And we're going to edit that. And then we're going to scroll down until we find related products, upsells and cross sales and we're gonna open up that group. Now, just generally speaking, these are ways to increase the sales on your site and to make the customers aware of other products that they might want to purchase. Ultimately, of course, the idea is to raise your sales. Related products are meant to be purchased in addition to this item. Essentially, they'll have a checkbox and they'll be displayed on the page that the customer is viewing this item and if a customer selects to add one of those things and when they add the main item to their cart, it'll also add the related product that they selected. So these are typically meant to be items that complement the product in some way. Upsells are similar to related products and they're shown in a similar fashion, but these are meant to be higher quality, higher priced usually alternatives to this current product. Again, you're saying, if this is something that you're interested in, then here's something that's even better that you might wanna check out. This works differently from the related products in that you don't check it to add to your cart along with the main item. Instead, if a customer clicks on this item, it takes them entirely away from the current product and to that other items page for them to purchase that instead of the main product they're looking at. Finally, we have cross-sell products, which are basically point of sale or impulse purchases. When a person is viewing their cart, these cross-sell products related to the items in their cart will be shown at the bottom of the page. Typically, there are lower priced items that may go along in some way with what they're purchasing, and it's kind of a way to get them to add a little bit more to their total purchase. So let's add some related products by clicking Add Related Products. 
And let's say since someone's purchasing coffee, we're going to say, well, since you're purchasing coffee, something that you might want to go along with that would be a mug to carry it around in. So let's just do for now the on-the-go mug in the camper's thermos. We'll come back to the Sunrise mug in a minute. All you have to do is check the items that you want to add and click Add Selected Products. That's all it takes to add products to any of these areas. Next, for Upsell Products, we'll click Add Upsell Products. This is where we're going to use our Sumatra Select, which is a higher-priced alternative to our house blend. So we'll select our one-pound Sumatra Select, scroll back up, and Add Selected Product. Then finally, we have our Cross Sales. We'll click on that. And again, these are typically going to be lower-priced items. It's just something that you're saying, hey, do you want to grab one of these while you're checking out? We don't have any really low-priced items. The lowest thing we have is a Sunrise Mug, so we'll just use that. We'll select our Sunrise Mug and add that. And once you've done these things, go ahead and click Save and Close. And that's all it takes to add these upsells, etc. Let's take a look very quickly and see what these things look like to the customer. So we'll click on our account name and open our customer view in a new tab. And we'll click on coffee, or we could go to blend it if we want to, either way. And here we have our coffee bean central house blend. We'll click on that. And as usual, we have our options for regular or decaf on this one, because this is a configurable product. But now if we scroll down, we see a few more things. Here are our related products, basically asking us if we would like to add one of these things to our order. Let's go ahead and select on the go mug. And then down here, we have our upsells. We found other products you might like, our one pound Sumatra Select specifically. And as I mentioned earlier, if you click on this, it's going to take you away from this page entirely and then to the Sumatra Select page instead. And as I mentioned earlier, if we click on this, it'll take you away from this page entirely to view this other product instead. So it won't be adding this along with the current coffee that we're looking at. It'll be taking us to purchase this instead of the coffee that we're looking at. So just keep that in mind. So we're not going to click on that, but we see that it's there. It's an offer. We are going to add a mug to our purchase. So go ahead and select either or both of these and then scroll back up choose a caffeinated option and then click add to cart. Now we have two items in our cart, the coffee along with the related item we selected. Now if we click here, go down to view and edit cart. You'll see that we have our coffee and the related product that we chose to add to our purchase. And then we also have the cross sell sort of a last second, hey, here's one more thing that you might want to add to your cart. And if we wanted to, we would just click add to cart. And now that would be in our cart as well, as you can probably imagine. And then we would proceed through checkout and go through the checkout process. These are the ways you use related products, upsells, and cross-sells to increase revenue on your store.